Posters have always been the most effective way of attracting movie audiences, playing on their imaginations with as much sex, violence, and action that the artist can draw into his renderings. In Hollywood's golden age, most posters were painted, glorious compositions which now have given way to photo collages. Artist Lee McLeod has combined the best of both techniques, turning movie stills into airbrush paintings He's illustrated Charles Band's imagination from the Empire days of the alchemist to every full moon picture from Puppet Master to demonic toys. Now, Lee McLeod has opened his studio to show us the secrets of full moon poster art with his work for Subspecies 2. Okay, Charlie Band and I have come up with an idea for the Subspecies 2 artwork. We discussed it in his office, and we've decided that it should be the subspecies carrying off Radu's head in an elaborate case from a tramp steamer. In the background, we'll see the San Francisco skyline and part of the bay. In the foreground on the wharf will be these four subspecies. Now I'll take the pictures that I'm going to use in the final artwork. Now that I've gotten the pictures developed, I'm going to put them here in the artograph project them down so I can put together the comprehensive drawing of facts to Charlie. I turn the artograph on here. I turn down the room lights here. And move into white paper and start to trace this off. Ever since Norman Rockwell started uh, using projection, all other realistic illustrators have had to follow suit. When I'm finished with this drawing here, I'll take it to my drawing table, and then I'll do the original part of this drawing, where I figure out where the wharf goes, where the water is, where the skyline is. Basically flesh this thing out before I send it over to Charlie Band. Now that I have the subspecies blocked in, working over the tracing that I did earlier, I'm indicating the chest, and then on top of the chest, I'll put Radu's head as if it were coming out. I've done as a paste up so that I can adjust the proportions in case I need to. Now I'm going to add the perspective lines in, work up the back part of the pier, figure out where the water is going to go, and then I think I'll run a plank up over here to sort of frame the piece, work the skyline on across. I have to make sure to remember to put in the Trans America Tower so we know this is San Francisco. Okay, I've pretty much finished up adding all the values. And now I'll send this over to Charlie Band. And when I get approval from him, then I'll move on to the photo composite stage. Charlie's approved it, and the photo composition is all put together. Now I have a negative made, and then we make a 20 by 30 print, and that's where the real artwork begins. I have my 20 by 30 print back. Now I'm going to frisk it off the rest of the illustration and leaving only the sky exposed. One of my more valuable tools is the airbrush. It allows me to do those smooth, naturalistic gradations that are so necessary for work of this kind. I'm going to start up here on the sky. The airbrush allows me to do very smooth gradations here. I'm starting at the top of the board and working my way down. Um, basically, it's creating an atmospheric perspective for me. If I turn it down and decrease the size of the opening, I can go in a lot finer and make the clouds and other things that would appear in the sky, try to give it some atmosphere and some mood. And once this goes to the printer, you'll see the final result on the Subspecies 2 poster. I really enjoy working for Full Moon Entertainment. It's always a challenge to try to flesh out Charlie Band's ideas, to come up with new worlds, new monsters, and new supernatural effects. I think that posters really help sell a fantasy film, and it's a real joy to contribute to the genre. Now, back to Video Zone.